Norfolk Southern reported record second quarter earnings and margins last night. Increased railroad traffic, just one of the reasons. CEO Wick Mormon joining us now in a Bloomberg exclusive. Wick, thanks so much for being with us. Always glad to have you on. Increased traffic, operating efficiency led to the magic of that quarter. But how did you achieve the results? I mean, freight volumes still down about 15 percent below the 2006 peak. Well, uh, thanks, Deidre. It's always great to be with you, and uh, you're right. Uh, we are seeing increased uh, traffic. We were up 22% year over year for the quarter over, admittedly, the worst quarter of last year. But it's that combination of traffic increases uh, combined with the efficiencies that we were able to realize in our operation last year during the downturn and then with some pricing. And all of those elements came together to produce a really good quarter for us. Now, your company, speaking of pricing, WIC has successfully increased prices at the rate of inflation, above the rate of inflation, for about six years. I mean, how do you keep doing that? Can you do it for another six? Well, I think that we're going to be able to sustain this for a good long time to come. If you look at it, too, it's a reversal of 20 or 25 years, really, where our company and the rail industry uh, were consistently losing ground against inflation. In fact, if you look at overall rail rates in 2003 versus 1980, they were about uh, half of what they were in 1980 in real terms. So we've seen that uh, decline reverse itself. We're now seeing a transportation market place that looks radically different in terms of capacity and in terms of our company's ability to deliver a high quality of service. So we're optimistic about our pricing uh, and our operating leverage for the future. What about shipment volumes the first half of this year? I mean, do you expect the second half to be up, down, unchanged? Can you quantify it at all? Well, there are a lot of moving parts, but I think right now from what our customers tell us, we would expect a second half uh, that looks uh, a lot like the first half in terms of overall volumes. Our comparisons year over year get a little tougher, but we don't see anything right now that tells us that we're either going to see a radical upsurge or downturn in rail traffic in the second half of the year. Wick, you just made reference to your customers. I mean, your industry is great because, I mean, it's an economic barometer. We get all kinds of visibility through your earnings into the industrial economy. We've seen some macro signs of softening for the U.S. economy. Are you hearing anything? Are you hearing any concerns from your clients on that front? Well, you know, we always hear concerns. We certainly hear concerns in the media. Uh, and I would think, I think it's fair to say that a lot of the folks we talk to are a little guarded about their outlook, but we really don't hear people telling us right now to expect a substantial, a substantial softening uh, in the second quarter. It's, it, it, the outlook, as I said, seems to be fairly steady right now. Now, Wig, we know normally you ship or you transport rather uh, industrial products, coal being one of note, Norfolk Southern among the railroad companies that expressed some concern about the idea of high-speed rail going over freight lines. I mean, what do you make of this high-speed passenger idea uh, using your, your infrastructure, basically? Well, uh, any true high speed, uh, like the European high speed, has to be on segregated lines, on segregated rights of way. So we don't worry too much about that. We do have some concern about running uh, 80, 90 mile an hour passenger trains over our existing lines because we want to make sure there's enough capacity so that we can run our business without being impeded. Fair but enough. we have a good relationship with Amtrak and with the states and okay. we're, we're working through those issues. Wick, thanks so much as always for joining us. Wick Mormon, CEO of Norfolk Southern.